Hey guys, how's it going today? So today I've got a little bit different type of video that I'm making. Um, I'm actually seeking some help. Hopefully someone can maybe give me some other ideas to try, but I'm trying to fix up a Radio Shack Pro 404 police scanner. And I basically got this for free, so I realized that some might watch this video and realize that this isn't that nice of a scanner, so it's probably not worth their time to even try to think of stuff to or ways to fix this up but I got it for next to nothing basically free and if I can get this thing up and running that'd be great but I'll show you what it's doing and some of the things that I've tried to get this up and running and if anyone has any other suggestions or knows what the culprit is um, I'd love to hear from you comment uh, let me know but uh, anyway I got this and um, basically when I turn it on the display, it, it, it's just frozen up. And there's a bunch of characters all over the display. And it's basically unresponsive. The buttons don't make any beeps. Um, I can't, basically the screen just stays on. And um, let me plug it in and show you what I'm talking about. That'll probably make more sense. So we'll go ahead and plug it in here. And I'll turn it on. And that's all we get. And that's what the display shows. So my first immediate uh, reaction was that the zebra strip that connects the LCD screen to the rest of the board, um, I thought that the zebra strip was bad. thought maybe it needed cleaned. And that's why it was giving me all this garbage on the screen. But I cleaned it and played around with it, realized that it's actually making a good connection and that this is all the characters that it's displaying. So it's not the zebra strip on the screen, it's actually a more serious problem. So again, I don't know if you can hear the speaker, but we've just got a faint noise and I, I don't even think it's scanning. Um, again, nothing coming from the the buttons. So I've already taken the back off, so let's unplug this and take a look at the back. So I've just taken the back directly off and this is what we see. Um, I've checked solder connections. I don't see anything that's broken. Um, there is something that's a little concerning and I'm not sure if this would be any issue but um, I'll take this off here in a second and show you the other side of this board. Um, so let me just do that real quick. All right, so I've just taken the board and this just comes right off after taking the speaker connection off. So on the other side of this board, so on inductor L18, right here on the side, on the flip side of this board, there's a few char marks. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well in this video. But um, basically right here, so basically right there, there was a little bit of charring. But I'm not sure if that would produce the odd behavior that this scanner is doing. So I was inspecting all the other connections. All the other connections look fine until we get about midway up the board here. And we get another area that's got some charring on it. And then one more section, and that's up here, that there's a little bit of charring. And it looks like the one on the top here, looks like it's one of the pins that connects the volume. And then the middle charring right here, that one appears to be, or that one is possibly one of these oscillators, the one of the frequency tuning. But anyway, i um, not sure what would cause this behavior. If anyone has any insight, or if it's definitely caused by maybe an inductor or anything else, let me know. I'm just not sure why it would be freezing up like that. The other thing that I thought it might be would be a corrupt um, firmware version on here, but I'm not sure how that would have happened. Uh, I don't really know the history of this scanner, and I know this is a programming port. 
So I'm not sure. I don't. I don't have a programming cable, and I'm not even sure how you get the firmware on there. But anyway, um, if you have any other questions or follow-up questions, let me know. Um, I appreciate any help that anybody might have on this. So thanks. Appreciate it.